Hey everyone, and welcome to another edition of Throwback Thursday, at least my version of it, where we revisit some of my favorites from way back when. So this month we are revisiting March 2011. I guess it wasn't a very exciting month because I don't have much down, but I'm excited to talk about it. Let's find out what happened to my favorites from back then. So if I, I have my list, I wrote it all down. Um, the first thing I had on the list was the Suave Professionals Dry Shampoo, and I have to say, it's still my all-time favorite dry shampoo. Unfortunately, I ran out of it and needed some in a hurry, and they didn't have it at the store that I was at, so my backup favorite is the, pst, the True Original Instant Dry Shampoo. It has a new look, so instead of red, it's sort of a deep raspberry pink. Um, a little more expensive than the Suave, still awesome. I'm gonna use some right now, because I'm feeling a little flat. So if you're not familiar no. with how you use this, you just kind of, and then I rub it in a little bit because even though I have light-ish hair, this does have a bit of a white cast. Target spray there, and there you have it. This is a fresh scent, but I really, I prefer the Suave one better. Apparently so does the rest of my family because I keep stealing it from under my sink. Physician's Formula, solar, pow solar powder light bronzer with SPF 20. When I read the information box on this one, I, I just, I scratched my head. I could not remember that. I actually had to go back and watch the whole video and watch me talking about it. And then I was like, oh yes, that. I have no idea what happened to that. It's like I've completely blocked it from my mind. I obviously liked it at the time. It looked nice, um, but I didn't repurchase it. I don't know if they discontinued it. I don't even still have it in my collection. I don't know if I gave it away. I have no idea what happened to it. But I do know that the bronzer of choice I'm using now and I've pretty much hit pan on that, is the um, Sephora bronzer in the shade Los Cabos, which is a very matte, light bronzer. And even though I do have a brand new backup waiting to be opened, I am very intrigued by the Too Faced Milk Chocolate Bronzer, and I may be checking that out. A certain very famous beauty guru just recommended it for pale people like myself, so I'm gonna give that a look-see. Next on the list, still a fave. This is my go-to product. I don't care what anybody says. I think everybody needs this. It's the Garnier uh, Nutritionist or Nutriste Anti-Dark Circle Rollerball in the tinted version. My label is worn off. I have one in my purse and one in my uh, makeup collection in the bathroom. And this, I don't use in the morning. But what happens is I get dressed early in the morning, put on my makeup and so forth, go about my day, it's all great. But then I usually have something to attend to in the evenings, a school event, some, you know, a volunteer thing, something at night. And while my makeup is pretty much held up, I get tired here and I'm tired right now. And it's almost three o'clock and so I do have somewhere to go this evening. So I'm gonna show you why this is so awesome. I have a full face of makeup on, my powder, my foundation, all that. My eyes are looking to me a little tired and a little puffy. And so I'm gonna use the viewfinder. I just go right over my under eye, my makeup. It's cooling, it feels so nice. If you need a little more coverage, you can let it sit for a minute or two. And then I just pat it in. And I'm actually gonna use another product that I'm gonna talk about in a moment to look at myself. We can open it. And, a little mirror here. It goes on flawlessly right over your existing makeup. What is on my face? and just pat it in it brightens up it cools it's perfect it's just the ultimate if you're it even goes like if you have mascara that's smudged down underneath your eye this will cover it up it's just it's 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 the best thing to have in your purse highly recommend it still love it i've repurchased it over and over and over okay next thing i had mentioned back then was the revlon limited edition unfortunately um, black with Envy Nail Polish, which is a dupe for a Chanel nail polish. I just can't remember which one. Oops, I dinged a nail. And um, it's beautiful. I just haven't been into wearing the shimmery shades lately, so I have to say I haven't reached for it. It's not something I would get rid of. I'm still glad to have it in my collection because I have nothing like it, I have to say. But um, if you like wearing dark nail polish but you don't want something as harsh as that, um, a dark, this is really just a dark gray mixed with some shimmer, is a nice option. NYX Angel Blush. This is a well-loved little bit of blush I own. It has quite a nice dent in it. This is still one of my all-time favorite blushes. I personally, and we will talk about this more in an upcoming Grown Ass Woman video, I personally struggle with blushes to make them look 
to get color in my face but not look like a clown. It's just a delicate balance that I have not learned to maneuver. But NYX Angel, especially if you're fair skin, will do that for you. It's very subtle. You can barely see it on my finger. Um, there it is, really packed on. It blends easily. It gives you a slight flush. It is matte. Um, it's one of those no-brainer blushes that are easy for me to use. I think if you're... Oops, it didn't break. Wow. Um, I think if you are olive skin tone or darker, this is going to be a little too light and chalky for you, but generally it's a great blush for paley people like me, and I still love it. Um, Real Techniques Stippling Brush. At the time, loved, loved this brush for foundation. This was the first stippling brush I had ever used, and for the time, it was my favorite for a good reason. But since then, New brushes have come out, as they do, and um, if I had to pick from the Real Techniques family, my favorite brush would be their Expert Face Brush. This, it, this is not as good as that. I, if I were someone who used um, liquid, liquid, liquid cream blush, liquid blush, those kinds of things, highlighters, cream highlighters, this would be, I think, a great product for that. Um, but I don't really reach for this very often. When I do use a brush for foundation, if I'm not, I rotate between a few, it's either going to be the Real Techniques Expert Face Brush or honestly the Sedona Lace FB07. Uh, it's a flat top. It's a little more, I don't know how, I've talked about it in my, in my brush review. It just gives you a more flawless finish than this. The stippling brush will leave brush marks in your foundation. Um, so those would be the ones that I reach for when I do use a brush. Okay, another one that I had mentioned that I'm really, this did not work out and I'm so bummed and I actually might go get another one. This is the Model Mirror and yes, I like skulls with flowers in them. Erin, I like skulls. I think they're interesting. And I'd seen Ruth from A Model Recommends using this in one of her videos. I ordered it. It's the Model Mirror by somebody, Latete or something like that. I'll link it below. It's, it's a good size mirror, it's lightweight, which I love, and when you open it up, I'll point it that way, so you have a normal mirror on this side, a non-magnifying mirror, you have a magnifying mirror on the other side, and you see these, um, I don't know how to do this, so you can't, I'm, okay, these little dots are lights, and if you're in the dark, you can push the button on the side, and it lights up the mirror, so you literally have a light-up makeup mirror that you can keep in your purse. It was all well and good until the batteries wore out and I tried to change them and the whole thing, like the springs fell out and they were all rusted. I don't know if my batteries corroded, but um, it doesn't light up anymore. So, so I don't know if these are still available. Like I said, if they are, I'll link them below and I probably will order another one for myself because I really have not found anything quite like this. If you know of one that's similar, maybe for a little less money, let me know. And then the last thing that I talked about way back then was the Out Hard Surface Stain Remover and then the regular Stain and Odor Remover. And I will tell you, I still have many of these all over the house. Even though my puppy is no longer a puppy, um, accidents still happen from time to time. It's 99.9% 99 .9 my fault or someone else in the house didn't let them out. Um, and this gets out pet stains, it gets out mud out of the carpets, it gets out children's stains, it gets out all kinds of stains out of our rugs and so I have one in pretty much every room in the house that has carpeting. So I still like it. I get mine at Walmart. I believe I've seen it at Target now. Great stuff. And um, it's enzyme and probacteria formula. I don't know, but it's got a cute dog on it and it works. So those were my favorites from March 2011 and some of my new favorites from now and thank you so much for watching this video the next one will be my current March 2014 favorites hope you enjoy that so thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video bye bye